What a great joy to see all of you here today, dear friends in Christ. Thank you for your faithful witness, dear brother priests, dear deacons, men and women in consecrated life, seminarians, brothers and sisters, and especially you, our young friends in Christ. What wonderful faithful witness today as we gather in this day of prayer for the legal protection of children. Bishop Jugas and I are so very proud of all of you, grateful for your faithful witness this day and every day as we entrust to the Lord all of our efforts on behalf of the sacredness of all human life and the dignity of every human person. We're the ones that are really going to have to make the difference. And so seeing these people that are going to be the ones making the difference, that's what's really important. I think it's important for me to come just to show that, num another number here to, see, to show that we stand up for abortion and it, we, we think it should be illegal. To me it was important because, you know, just with my generation, uh, contraceptives or, uh, you know, premarital uh, intercourse and abortion is just kind of like, the easy way out, so I felt like that's very unfair to babies, and you know, I'm really pro life, so definitely felt like it'd be great to come here. Um, because I think just this generation, it's sort of a thought that if you're pro-life, you're sort of um, not really for women, I guess, and just trying to teach people that we're not about that, we're about the babies. I think being an OBGYN, you get to see life. I've had ladies come in when they're first trimester and miscarry, and I hold their tiny little baby in my hand. And I've seen stillbirths at all ages, gestational ages, and so I have the advantage of actually seeing it firsthand and knowing it is a life. And really, I mean, when I look at this whole abortion issue, as much as we don't want it and we want it to change, there is a reality that God's working good through it, that he's bringing all these people together and we're coming to a new awareness of how profound and important life is. this zeal with this energy and enthusiasm so I think we have to keep driving the point home that, uh, that this message although they believe this in their hearts and, and they know this to be true that uh, most of society does not and we have to be you know uh, very realistic in, in saying and explain the need for a, another voice being heard and they have to be that voice I mean, when young people show such zeal people listen and uh, this, this is incredible